What's good, YouTube? This is Austin Sweet here, and you are watching Austin Does Everything. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to episode number seven of Wrestling Talk. This is the weekly show that I come that I do. I come on here, I discuss wrestling and nothing but wrestling, and I can't believe it. Episode seven of Wrestling Talk. This is amazing. I cannot believe it. We're almost to the tenth episode. Now, today on Wrestling Talk, we are going to be discussing um, if the burning question, should Dean Ambrose turn on the shield or not? Um, if you guys recall, Monday night on Raw, just last Monday night, when the shield lost to the Dogs of War, which is Strowman, Ziggler, and McIntyre, um, <coughs> Dean Ambrose walked out on his team. Then the following Monday, um, <coughs> um, Seth Rollins won his match against the World Cup for the World Cup. Um, and then Rollins said Ambrose shows up on lunatic time. And he says, and he calls Dean Ambrose a lunatic. So, and then during Ambrose's match with Dolph Ziggler, <coughs> Ziggler gets the win after Ambrose shoves Rollins out of his way. So causing some tension there. And then when Ambrose is walking up the ramp, you kind of see them shoving each other. And then Roman Reigns, I feel bad for Roman Reigns because he's in the center of this whole mess. Then Constable Corbin comes out, makes a six-man tag rematch, which is, in my opinion is just a bunch of baloney, rinse and repeat. Then Dean Ambrose attempts to give Seth Rollins the dirty deeds. So right there, you see a little bit of, of a heel turn almost happening. And by the way, guys, you're going to have to excuse me. <coughs> I'm still a little congested and whatnot. But at the same time, though, after the match, everything returns to normal. So is that what Dean Ambrose wanted? Was try to get his frustrations out with trying to to give Rollins the dirty deeds? I really don't know. But if Dean Ambrose should turn on the shield, um, they they need to do it before Mania, WrestleMania 35. Do it before Mania, like towards the Royal Rumble in 2019. Then. Before Mania, turn Ambrose heel. Because if you don't, and if you... I want to see someone else from the shield turn heel. That's just my opinion, but I want to see Ambrose turn heel. Like, turn Ambrose heel before WrestleMania 35, then you make a triple threat for the Universal Championship. That's my opinion. I don't know. I mean, I want to see Ambrose turn heel, but at the same time, I don't want him to turn heel. Because that will cause the shield to break up, and we'll never see them back together. So, that, so, overall, I think Dean Ambrose should not turn heel. Someone else from the Shield should turn heel and break up the Shield. So, that'll do it for Episode 7 of Wrestling Talk. I want to hear your guys' comments. What do you think? Should Dean Ambrose turn heel? Uh, put it in the comments below and let me know. I'll be, and I'll be sure to read them. So, that'll do it for this episode of Wrestling Talk. And before I get out of here... Um, I know Dakota's teachers are expecting a Bob Ross video. I promise, guys, this weekend, we will do the Bob Ross video. We will do it. But until then, this brings a close to episode 7 of Wrestling Talk. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure you hit the like button, leave your comments, and above all else, subscribe. And if you missed... The last episode of Wrestling Talk, I'll be sure to link you. Um, it'll be up here in the cards. Somewhere right up here. Um, so, like I said, if you enjoyed today's episode of Wrestling Talk, be sure you hit the like button, leave your comments, and above all else, subscribe. Tap the bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.